Hi, Jill. This is Tony with Groove Web Services. Um, I was one, the one that called you yesterday morning, let you know I was going to send you a video, just give you some information about your website, compare it to a couple of your competitors, and go over a couple of the ranking factors for Google um, that dictates where they place your site in its search engine. So hopefully this information is useful. Um, if so, I would ask that uh, you pass it along to a decision maker so they could watch it. Video shouldn't be much longer than five to seven minutes, but in the end, um, it looks like a couple of your main competitors are stealing a lot of that business that you could be getting out of Google. And uh, this should give you some tools to help you maybe get some of that back. So with that, let's go over the, uh, the two main ranking factors. First one's going to be content. So we're looking at your homepage here. And uh, it's a good looking site. I'm not gonna lie, you guys did a good job here. And uh, the content that I'm talking about is just the words and the images and any videos that you have here. We generally suggest 1,500 to 2,000 words on a homepage. I know that sounds like a lot, but Google really does rate uh, quality content highly and uh, um, the more of it that is high quality that a, cu um, a customer of yours might stay and read and uh, the better google wants to serve up the best experience to its clients as it can and if your site is structured well and has good well-written content that's going to serve you well and this is i mean well written there's a lot going on here i like it um, i do not see 1500 to 2000 words um, so that's the only thing that I would say you'd probably want to focus on is adding a bit more content. Let's look at a couple of your competitors in this regard. So Fahey, um, if you look here, here's an example of um, using a keyword in your content. This is a H2 tag, I think, and pest control company in Sarasota is exactly what somebody might search for. So that's good use of uh, a keyword here. And if we scroll down, they've got their packages. Looks like they do lawn stuff too. Pest control, lawn care services. There you go. Um, some information on some pests, linking to some more back pages, a coupon, their service areas. And uh, that's about it. So you may actually be doing better than these guys as far as the overall content. Um, whether or not you have the keywords in there is another subject. So um, they'd be easy to beat out if you're not already beating them out. And then Good News Pest, they've got uh, their packages. Some info here on pests. Not seeing a lot of keywords here. Um, yeah, some stuff about 4th of July. So I, I think content wise, you're doing all right. I think you should be adding a bit more though and making sure you've got the right keywords in. So let me quickly show you, I'm gonna search here, pest control Sarasota. You've got your Google guaranteed ads here that's okay some people don't click on ads and some people are using ad blockers so they may or may not work this map pack here the top three in the map pack this is the premium real estate here this is boardwalk and park place uh, when it comes to uh, google searches this is where you want to be uh, most clicks happen there and then this would be called the uh, organic listings you've got 10 listings here the this is where i found good news and fahey um, for this search uh, so what gets you here is, first of all, you got to have the content on your site to get you found here. Secondly is backlinks. That's the second factor. Backlinks are what power your site up to the top of the Google listings. They are essentially votes for your site. It's your site's URL out on another website. So if you have a, a pest control blog and you gave them some content uh, and they posted that content on their blog, they might give you a backlink back to your site, which is nothing more than your URL out on their website. Quality backlinks are what you need. There are, not all backlinks are created equal. There are spammy backlinks. There are low powered backlinks. There are backlinks that have nothing to do with your niche. If you can, you wanna find niche relevant backlinks. These are the things that help drive you up uh, the rankings. So let's look at this product, AREFs. Um, I am looking at Fahey pest, uh, pest right now. They have 643 backlinks over 146 different websites. They're being found for about 721 keywords. That's giving them about 364 clicks. 
If we look at the keywords they're being found for, first one's their, their actual name. Um, this is the type of stuff you want to be found for. Pest con well, your name as well, but Pest Control Sarasota. This is a buyer intent keyword that somebody in source Sarasota might search for. That's the one that I searched for here when I found them. 300 searches a month. These guys are in position two. They're getting 42 clicks. If you go down here, Pest Control Sarasota with an FL at the end, that's a different uh, keyword. 100 searches, they're in position two, getting 13, so on and so forth. You got Bradenton, you got Port Charlotte. You can see how many they're getting for these. Northport. So this, they're getting found for these because they have these back pages. If you look here, Fahey.com, Pest Control, Northport. So if you want to service other cities, you make another page for that and get the keywords, these exact keywords in there, you start getting found for them. Let's take a look at you. Um, 222 backlinks over 32 domains, um, 238 keywords you're being found for, but you're only getting two clicks a month. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, bed bugs, how to get rid of the bed bugs. Okay. So this is coming from a back page, bed, bug, bed bugs. I'm looking for some of those buyer intent keywords. And so everything you're getting found for looks to be bed bug related right now. I'm going to page two. Uh, oh, I went right by it. Pest control, Sarasota, 300 searches. We know you're on page six. Okay. So this is an example of the content is not there to get you found for these buyer intent keywords you want to be found for. So, this means write better content, uh, maybe use this tool like Arefs to find out what kind of content your, uh, what kind of keywords your competitors that are ranking high are using, and then get that into onto your site and then go searching out some quality backlinks. I hope this was useful. Um, hope I give you some tools to maybe help yourself if you're looking to do so. Obviously, if you need assistance from a professional, I'm here to talk. Um, feel free to reach out to me by phone or by email. If, even if you don't need any help, I, w I welcome any feedback you might have. It helps me um, help the next uh, guy or gal that I send a video off to. With that, I will let you go. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.